You hungry enough? Are you hungry? I'm gonna cook carbonara. You can eat that. Wait! No, don't touch! What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Lau and today we're going to be doing another episode of The Starter Chef. We'll be making a basic carbonara pasta. Okay, now that we know what to use, let's begin. First things first, we're going to start with the bacon because that takes the longest to cook. You're going to want to use almost two-thirds of it. Leave one-third for later. We'll cut these up into little pieces. Ultimately, your bacon bits are going to look a little bit like this. So they don't always have to be the same size. They don't have to be perfect because remember, we are starter chefs. Once that's done, we're going to move on to chopping up or mincing up our garlic. To properly mince or chop up your garlic, basically you're going to want to put the root or stem facing downwards and then just pound. That way, it's so much easier to peel off. Once you have your clove, set it down, put your knife on top of it, and again, pound. The skin peels off much easier. We're going to move on over to the stove, so come on. So now we're going to cook our bacon or fry our bacon and because bacon is already so oily, you don't need to add extra oil to the pan. Cook your bacon on high for about 5 to 8 minutes, but remember, we don't want it crispy, we don't want it burned. Once that's done, lower the heat and then add in about 2 tablespoons of your minced garlic. So you're going to want to wait about 5 to 8 minutes for all of this to settle in. Make sure that the garlic doesn't turn brown because when it's brown and crispy, there's a bitter taste that won't really fit well with your pasta. Next, we pour in 3 packs of all-purpose cream. Next, take about a block of cheddar cheese. It really depends how much you want to use or how cheesy you like your pasta, but usually I take about this size, so I guess a thumb's worth or a palm's worth. And then you're going to want to grate the cheese on top of the sauce. What the cheese does is it really makes the sauce chunkier and thicker. After that, just mix everything together, add some pepper or really any spices you like. Looks good, no? Yeah. Cheesy. Yeah. Okay, so once your cheese melts and fully submerges into the sauce, bring the pan down to a low heat. Next, you're gonna work on your second pan, where this time you'll be using the one-third bacon that you had left over. Remember, these weren't cut yet, so they're still like in full form. Dump it into your pan. Again, no oil because bacon has its own oil. I want to wait until it gets crispy and brown and fully cooked. Next, while we're waiting for that bacon to cook, we're going to move on to cooking our pasta. So for this pasta, I'm using penne. It's really just a matter of your personal preference. Some people like spaghetti, some people like angel hair. Vaughn likes the spiral pasta, but I don't know, I just really like penne, so that's what I'm going to use. To cook your pasta, you're going to want to bring water to a boil. Add in about a handful of salt and about two tablespoons of oil just so that the pastas don't stick together. So the pasta is going to take about 15 minutes to cook. Once it's soft, you'll know that it's ready to eat. Theoretically, you can do these three things at the same time and it should take you only about 20 to 30 minutes. Super fast and very easy. Okay, 
Once your pasta is cooked, all you're gonna do is transfer it into your saucepan. At the end, it should look something like this. Just make sure the carbonara you make is creamy and cheesy and thick. Finally, your pasta is ready to be served. So if you guys remember, I was cooking another batch of bacon. Basically, I dried that out and chopped it into little tiny pieces. This will serve as the topping to the pasta. If you remember, I also mentioned that you need spring onions. Well, earlier I chopped that up into little pieces so that we can also use that as topping. And that's it. That's all you really need to know to make a basic carbonara. What I love about carbonara and what I love about pastas in general is that they're so buildable. At the end of the day, you can throw in any ingredients you want into the sauce. Lately, I've been using egg, I've been using prosciutto ham, but I figured since this is the starter chef, you know, we want to make things as basic as possible. Can we eat some? Yeah. Mm, it's good. Test your mic. Test, test, test. Oh, over here, yeah. How did you know? I didn't see it then. <laughs> <laughs>